What is up? Hi guys, how are you? It's Shani with Healing Elements. Welcome to my channel and I am putting out after a little hiatus um, a video, the latest in the playlist all about spirit animals. So I hope that you've come to my channel with open arms. I have nothing but love and positive vibes for you and I hope that you get anything um, genuinely intended to help with uh, your life path or self-reflection at this time. Anything that you did come here for though is appreciated and here is the latest video I've created for the playlist again, Spirit Animal Symbolism. This video is all about the possum spirit all about the possum spirit animal, which this may run a little bit longer, but I adored researching this. And I think it's a very, very important and poignant, um, speaks to what we need to have, um, at this time, I think as a whole, the symbols, uh, some themes, symbolic meanings from other cultures, you know, traits, uh, mannerisms, habits, uh, themes that are associated with the possum spirit animal are as follows. So uh, the, the spirit of the possum possesses the essence of being extremely elaborately expressive. So an acting quality, a leader or teacher, someone who can express themselves in a mode in which is very clear, not just with language, something that is universal and again, very dramatic and expressive, just like the possum in wildlife um, is able to quote unquote act play possum act dead that's where we get the term play possum or of course scientists think that this is some sort of tonic immobility in which they are actually autonomically responding by fear so we can talk about that in a minute we'll go into it in depth i thought it was fascinating the debate over that making i think the next meaning of the spirit animal of the possum um quite quite obvious elusive and confusing so the possum took the fight or flight options from you know being endangered and having to deal with a predator or a threat and flipped the script it definitely went on their own unorthodox trail and said you know what I'm just gonna do something else we're gonna play dead here and confuse and shock and stun to the point where the you know elaborate again dramatic details that the possum uses either whether or not it is set off unintentionally instantly instinctively by the you know um possum's fear the fear induced state makes these things happen but the following um clever clever you know innovative acting and traits that show to a predator they indeed look the part as playing dead. So they are able to, um, you know, completely go still. So their muscle reflexes stop. They have done research and think that they do not feel pain when they are playing dead. They uh, gate their mouth open. They excrete something um, out of their anal glands as if they are defecating because dead animals or things do defecate after they are killed. They also have you know this knack for rolling their eyes up keeping them open or you know their tongue out to the side they can be very stiff they also can slow their breathing down it is incredible what different details they are able to you know pull out all the stops when evading a predator in this way so it's ingenious clever innovative energy regarding the spirit animal resiliency resilience because they are able to be in a position and when they have to endure endurance and resilience so they're enduring this long poker face battle of you know keeping this facade of being dead for as long as the predator wants to play with it so the possum is known to take an insurmountable amount of pain you know this predator trying to maybe toss it about, bite it, do something with it to try to figure out what in the world this possum's deal is, if it's dead or worth eating, because animals do not like to eat dead um, meat that it has been sitting around a lot. So that's hence the anal defecation um, trait. I think that was fascinating and clever. But this is all about being resilient after this happens. So enduring a long state of exhaustion or a long state of trauma or 
you know, some hardship that is, if you resonate with the spirit animal, this is an energy that is very, very much associated with the possum spirit, having a resilient attitude to bounce back and heal. Also those wounds endured during that standoff or in which you had to play numb or play dead or wait, lay in wait for something traumatic or for a threat to pass. Right. Um, so versatility and adaptability also go in this, you know, for it's just beautiful the way in which the versatility of them not only acting and playing possum with the details I described, but being adaptable in different environments. They are the only, I think, you know, non-primate to have, at least in the northern continents, I think, opposable thumbs. They are able to work out clever, you know, um, um, challenges. They have been known to place, you know, higher in the challenges of research, um, higher than a pig, a dog, a cat, things of that nature. They are very, very clever and they can adapt and, and figure out puzzles. They have a very high tolerance for remaining stoic under pressure. So again, that laying in wait and playing dead until the threat passes. Um, you know, again, innovative and creative and the way in which they are able to get out of situation, a problematic situation, solve problems in a different unorthodox type way. So, you know, when there is a predicament, there is a tendency for those of you who embrace the possum as your spirit animal to completely go in left field. Do not, you know, you are someone who pulls out a beautiful uh, way in which to solve problems, but it usually catches everybody off guard. Some people probably oppose it in the beginning because it's so much of a new innovative idea, but this is a genius capable quality and in essence we can borrow at this time from the power totem of the possum. We all can definitely use some, uh, you know, expressive drama of resilience and be adaptable at this time. Um, also there in native, you know, tribal cultures in the past and present, there is a tie in with fire with the possum spirit. So known sometimes, um, in Mesoamerican tribes, particularly as I was researching as the fire bringer, there is a, a myth in which, um, kind of comparable to Prometheus the possum is very clever, kind of like the Robin Hood type of vigilante vibe and comes up with a plan, comes down to humans and says, here, I'm going to teach you fire. I'm going to give you fire, this very valuable thing. If you cannot, uh, you know, eat possums, you know, you will make this deal. You don't eat possums. I'll give you fire. So that is one of the Mesoamerican, um, you know, traits and, and traditions and oral stories. Also, uh, Mesoamerican traditions associate the possum, of course, with fertility. They are known to be so effective and so efficient with birthing. So they are a marsupial. So they only are um, in gestation. They're pregnant only for about two weeks, 12 to 14 days, and they can have up to 20 of their joeys. I think they're called joeys because they're in a marsupial pouch. However, that um, being said, they're also more fertile than a rabbit. Again, comparing them to what others perceive as notably fertile or having a very strong, you know, vibe with in essence, this by far is used in some tribes, a Mesoamerican to, you know, induce labor with um, some scrapings off of the tail, things of that nature. So when we talk about the possum spirit, we have to, of course, talk about um, seeing through the darkness. It's nocturnal. So the possum in the wild is nocturnal. And this is um, a metaphoric comparison for you. If you resonate with this spirit animal or find traits within yourself similar, you can see through darkness. So you are able to perceive, to see through deception, what is clouded perhaps for others or hard for others to see. You know, you are monumental in seeing the bigger picture and not getting fooled by that in which is not clear or shown in the light of day, so to speak, right? Um, definitely unique in your problem solving when it comes to that. So again, if it is a project that needs to be done and there is a dark space, literally, you are able to overcome that. You're able to see what lights up the dark, which is a, a beautiful gift. It is um, also in some Mesoamerican tribes. Um, this is a very lucky totem considered to be that of hope uh, because when you, you know, 
consider it to be a fertility a totem that is bringing hope and new you know um spirit into the world also uh, one of the spirit animals possum is linked to as many are as a um, way shower between worlds so in the lower and, and upper realms in heavens as is below as above they are said to be able to transverse the worlds and to shuttle to try to guide um, those souls who are going back and forth whether or not that is on a death journey or a you know um, an oracle journey on a you know ayahuasca something like that so you know this traveler between dimensions of the earth sky the upper lower realms right the underworlds it leads into a um, meaning and symbolic theme that is very common with the possum which is having a very psychic ability so again that goes into also being nocturnal metaphorically you know you see through the dark you can see through um things much clearer with a perception that is much broader right extra sensory perception um you know the mohegans actually and various other tribes use the possum as their clan animal the entire clan animal um usually it's generally uh, reserved for something that is more of a fierce although there's many but you know this is attributed to its cunning and it is because of the again the ability to withstand hardship and resiliency and the tough ability to um, not flinch under pressure to be you know noble in that way um, immunity is also if you resonate with this spirit animal or if you're looking to work with the power of the possum spirit immunity and being um, generally immune to certain diseases and or viruses and or afflictions that other people or beings would not necessarily have any protection for so you know good health is associated with this energy you know, it would truly or metaphorically poison others right you ignore it does not phase you you're immune to what corrupts or pollutes others just like the mongoose being immune to you know certain venom um one of the most potent snake venoms is the pit vipers and the possum is immune to the venom of this snake and so you know completely being immune to snake venom is pretty amazing um you know if we look at what it does it's a complete and total evolved mechanism of, of death and, and defense which has been genius so it, to be immune to this is a big huge quality so you are able to stay healthy when others are ill or if you embody this energy or want to work with it this is an energy of hope and holistic healing in which you are able to heal faster by your mindset you are able to restrict your mind from negative vibes or other energies that are connected to mind body and soul that may drag you down and not uh, allow you to heal as fast so you're able to again cut out the chase get the darkness away and just focus on healing so you're you know prone to healing quickly and not to getting many afflictions or not getting as sick as other people um you know there is a big um symbolism with immunity that ties into uh, the possum very rarely being one species that gets rabies they can get it but it's very rare it doesn't usually affect that species because they are marsupials they have a, a lower um, temperature and so this protects them and so also beside fertility these beautiful marsupials if you resonate with possum spirit are dedicated parents and very motherly they have a nurturing uh, vibe um, they carry their litter again in their abdominal pouch their marsupials their you know babies are born I think joeys they're called underdeveloped and they have to have that responsibility of up to again 20 joeys in their pouch underdeveloped continuing their development in the pouch while they're sometimes again playing and acting dead from predators so they have an expressive successful creative way in which they hide their babies because think about it when they're playing dead generally a predator is not going to assume that this animal has a pouch and babies that are hidden under her so it is very very ingenious trying to you know play and act dead upon predatorial confrontation you know dropping to the ground drooling right sticking tongues out mouth wide agape non-responsive even to physical prodding right this is something again you do not fold under pressure 
you feel no pain when playing dead or quote unquote in tonic mobility when you have a situation that is maybe dangerous in your life or you are maybe going through something stressful for the time and need to hang in there to a job that is miserable or an overwhelming circumstance situation just like we all went through the past few years if you know you have a situation that comes up generally you are the one that people look to and say god how are they keeping it together with the poker face so you just bluff out the rest of the players at the table which is contagious in a good way makes them feel more empowered and strong in order to carry on stoically through the tough times with hope hope is another big vibe and theme regarding the spirit animal of the possum having hope that there will be survival so when the possum plays dead he is uh, dedicated and you know hope is his only strategy that he has that this animal will believe him and leave him alone right so what a, a clever a very clever i guess um beautifully devised or instinctively you know um adapted fear in induced tactic i mean whichever it is when threatened by a predator by all accounts it's the animal spirit of the possum who has the most moxie and has a better chance, in my opinion, right, of surviving the predator's belly or, you know, going under into uh, chaos and, and insensibility and dark nights of the soul that never end, right? If you resonate with this spirit of the opossum, even when it looks, you know, futile, um, an assignment or an experience, an opponent, or an attacker or some situation that is very traumatizing of some kind and it looks unfavorable for you and your survival you have such an unorthodox way of solving the problem evading your predators evading that situation that will be to the detriment of you right you will evade that and these tactics of resting playing coy stoic dead right um, it gives you a better chance at survival, I think, in coming out, you know, of a difficult situation uh, as much unscathed as you can, right? I think that, you know, possums also get a bad rap. So you may be uh, one of those spirit animal energies that are misunderstood, kind of like the outcast, like uh, me just very, very always feeling as if, um, you know, you are looked and judged more than other people are you're maybe cherry picked to be uh, judged because uh, possums i was thinking about this possums and raccoons both in us and they both are very pesty around garbages because we've built this concrete jungle around their habitat and though i'm looking at the screen as you may be and the possums are adorable to me but they tend to get a reaction of uh a possum and a raccoon is like oh how cute although the possums are just literally a different color and also just the same they are just going into the garbage the same so i think that there's a misrepresentation or some sort of vibe in which um you know maybe some people are frowned upon like the possums are frowned upon right if they show up on your back fence um instead of a raccoon it's like everybody assumes one rabies which again they're very very unlikely to catch raccoons are much more likely right so misrepresentation misjudgments things like that may be associated with your energy or if this is something that you're experiencing you may want to work with the possum resilience um vibe and the hope that you know when you withstand that which most can't withstand you turn up on the other side and others do not right so guys i uh, really hope you enjoyed this video my latest addition to the spirit animal playlist all about the opossum animal spirit i love this um, impeccably effective successful innovative beautiful energy this possum this beautiful animal the tactic of playing dead hence the term playing possum and everything else that goes into it. its clever adaptation you know rather than just a normal fight or flight program reactivity um, you live outside of that you are an orthodox you are your own being you do you for you and live by you and your own regulations you're just by all accounts, um, beautiful in the elegant and kind of graceful defense mechanism that you endure or put out. So, you know, probably would be representative if I was going to put a archetype 
full energy just for the fun of it um of an astrologist i mean i'm sorry of astrology sign i am gonna go with tomorrow my grandma's birthday rest in peace nana 125 35 it's her birthday she is aquarius so i think uranus or aquarius energy is similar to the opossum because of the way in which they kind of come into this revolutionary phase and you know motivate themselves with the you know feeling of wanting to include everyone and to have everything be right and fair and i feel that this tactic that they have to accomplish that is usually done in a very surprising unorthodox way again you're honest think of it tilted it's the only um planet we have in our solar system tilted and also is is orbiting in the opposite direction so in any case guys i really appreciate you once again thank you for stopping by my channel everything that you do your likes and your comments absolutely help i took a long time to get my channel monetized i really do appreciate all the comments it helps spread the video it it provides um a little um income for me from the YouTube and I'm just very appreciative of all of your suggestions and I will be putting out more videos as I can and do so feel like it's the right time to do so. Blessings, love, and light guys. Happy New Year as well.